I was born in Nebraska because my father was doing design for the Kingsley Dam. I visited many of the dams that he built and knew much about them, how they ran and what they were. Mother had inherited a collection of Richter blocks. Mother would ask me to build one of the things drawn in these plans and then she would check whether I had gotten it right. And I learned to read the plans and construct the bridges correctly at a very young age. Nowadays, everybody draws on a computer. What Sketchpad did was to lay the groundwork and to, to show that that was possible. Sketchpad never did anything useful for anybody, but as a demonstration, it opened the eyes of lots of people to the fact that online computing use could be productive. Then a lot of clever people made it practical. I had no idea where I was going. I had no idea what the future would be or why, you know, why this would be important to do. But it was very interesting work. And every day I did something that hadn't been done before that worked, and that was, you know, reward enough. Where does curiosity come from? It is inherent in youth. Graduate students don't know what can't be done, and so they go ahead and do it. You know, I didn't know you couldn't make drawings on computers, so I went ahead and did it. If we simply liberate the next generation to permit their curiosity to be exercised and encourage them to do new things, innovation will go on as fast or faster than it's gone now. I had a good childhood. I miss it. I picked up those geometric notions from the Tinker Toys and the Richter blocks. But I think of myself as a human being. And I, I cherish the notion that there are aspects of being a human being that are intellectual and that are emotional. There are forms that I fill out where it says occupation and I uniformly write engineer. And then my friend Chuck Seitz said, Ivan, what you are is a geometry, sketchpad, a very geometric activity. That thinking about geometric things, how things fit together, is central to all of what you've done.